two biggest risk factors that cause people to go to prison. One is substance abuse, the other is illiteracy. Even if we get them sober and we don't address the literacy, what is the probability of this person going to prison? Pretty high. The likelihood of somebody who has a drug problem who can't read going back to prison is over 85%. If somebody can read and has hope for employment and has their substance abuse problem under control, the likelihood of that person recidivating is below 20%. About a year ago, a probation officer brought me a young man named Andrew. Andrew was 16. Andrew uh, had a drug problem that he had uh, rectified. He had a year of sobriety. It was time for Andrew to get off probation. The probation officer said, Judge, you can't let this kid off probation. I said, why not? And she said, he's reading at a second or third grade level. His mother is a drug addict. Uh, he will not go to school. If you let him off probation, he will be in prison in two years. I said, well, what's the solution to this? She says, well, let me take him to Connie, who's the counselor at the Urban League, who I believe is in this room. Connie took the kid to our local Linda Mood Bell uh, office in Del Mar, which is a beach city uh, in an uh, affluent area of town. Andrew lived in southeast San Diego in the mid-city. So she took him there, he was diagnosed as being dyslexic, and they came back and said, well, he needs 12 weeks of tutoring, four hours a day, um, and we can fix it. And so, and they said, it's only 12 grand. And I said, yeah, right. <laughs> so so uh, um, I talked, uh, the superintendent of our San Diego Unified School District, or actually his special ed guy, and the chief probation officer into sharing the 12 grand. Andrew got on the trolley and went downtown every day and took the coaster to Del Mar. And um, Andrew went from reading, this is pretty emotional for me, he went from reading at a second grade level, actually I think it was 3.2 was the actual grade level, third grade level to 16.2 in 12 weeks. And A Andrew's tutor took him to uh, the library at UCSD and Andrew, doing his own research, wrote me a three-page uh, paper on the origins of the Civil War. And Andrew is in uh, uh, regular school now, uh, uh, Crawford High School, and doing quite well. Thank you very much. wasn't the first reading program that I've gone through. Um, I was diagnosed with dyslexia at a, at a young age and whatnot, and for, well, I guess it's safe to say I've had a pretty rough uh, schooling history in, my, in the past. Um, it was, it's always been a challenge for me to read words and uh, especially comprehend what I'm reading. And uh, I don't know, for me, the, the school programs that I was attending in school were not cutting it. I mean, the teacher would hand me a book and say, do chapters one and two, write the questions, and then uh, turn it in at the end of the, at the, end of the class. And uh, I could do the work. It might take me an hour longer than the rest of the class or whatnot, but I wouldn't have a, a clue as to what I just did. Um, and that, I don't know, that was pretty stressful as far as my 
school curriculum went. And um, I don't know, when I first went for the testing at Rancho Del Campo, um, I was like, oh great, another one of these programs, huh? Because I'd gone through probably two in the past, but they were too tedious, they took too long, and the rate of acceleration in the uh, program just, it wasn't cutting it. It was just, uh, it was too slow. And uh, I went in there, and after the first series of tests, I opened my eyes and I was like, wow, this is amazing. These guys, are, they really know what they're doing and whatnot. And uh, this is my third, starting my fourth week of uh, um, treatment, I guess you'd say. And uh, I don't know, now I enjoy reading. I'm reading my second novel now by Tom Clancy. And uh, writing is a lot more enjoyable for me. I can actually like sit down and write a letter to my father and whatnot that I haven't talked to in a year or two, but I can actually express my thoughts and my feelings on paper, which before I couldn't do. Um, it's, it's really a blessing for me to be in this program. What do we do? Well, like we do in juvenile now, it seems to me that the simple solution is that we pay for literacy training and sobriety service, services for all of the adult criminal population. We, we require the local judge to get an assessment as part of the probation social study that is the predicate for the sentence. If the defendant can't read or has a substance abuse problem, the court tells the defendant, sir, in addition to doing your three years, you must complete the inpatient treatment pro program as a condition of release, and you must complete the literacy training program and get your GED. If, if we will do that and make the sentence more rigorous, the prison population will implode and shrink at the same exponential rate that it grew. And within two years, I guarantee you that we will save more money in incarceration costs than we're spending on drug treatment and literacy training just like we are saving more money in San Diego in foster care costs than we are spending on drug treatment for the parents of the kids who are in court jurisdiction. Our social problems are soluble. There, there are solutions. We have to take responsibility and ownership of these issues and deal with them.